YPO has changed the way I view the world. A big statement from an Englishman conditioned to be understated and sceptical. So let me share my story and see how it connects with each of you. I'm in 2009 and flying around the world seven times as the global chair of YPO, having countless trusted and intimate conversations with members and their families across all cultures. My intuition is telling me there has to be an important story here. Because the dramas of the member and their family, whether in Beijing, Chicago, Istanbul, all of these dramas are playing out in the interconnected web of our times. I was struck by how world-centric we're becoming in the way we think and behave. Now, of course, this world-centric outlook is coloured by the countries and cultures from which we've emerged, yet within which we're no longer submerged. It would be hard to be world-centric in your outlook whilst remaining submerged within your country and culture of origin. So that takes me to the elephant in the room of the 21st century, whether we humans can shift from plundering our planet to a more sustainable relationship. It's my deeply held belief that this will only become possible when a critical mass of people become world-centric in their thinking. Globalisation is forcing humankind into a rapid rewiring of itself, and world-centric thinking is an outcome of this rewiring. So in this storm of change, it's really important to have a safe haven to think for yourself, to figure out how we each make a contribution to this process of change. And that was the great gift that YPO gave my family and I, a global journey of diverse experiences, trusted conversations, and deep reflection, key ingredients for a shift in awareness. This is also the 21st century gift that YPO can offer you and your families. YPO is beyond our politics, beyond our religion, beyond our nation states. The only purpose of YPO is to help each of us think for ourselves. Better leaders through education idea exchange an opportunity to explore beyond our existing beliefs and borders. You know, if YPO had not existed, then surely the demands of the 21st century would have required it to be invented. So let us leverage YPO and each innovate to make a better future. Thank you.